Hey guys, turn you up, buttercups. I hope everybody's good. So this is just going to be an update because I know a majority of the video I did yesterday, um, somewhat complicated. You know, we were in the midst of the full moon being at its peak, at least here, okay? Um, it was at its, its peak around 3 p.m. In, in New England Eastern Standard Time. So it was, it was a whole lot. So I'm not going to do each element because each element, okay, there's always a story because we're every single propensity, Troopaloopas, okay? So we're just going to get a little clear message of how the weekend's gonna go it's it's gonna resonate or it won't okay um and i mean it should definitely give you an idea okay so may 8th uh to may 10th weekend energy update clear messages so and happy mother's day for all the mamas on sunday i hope you have a great day Know that your loved ones are with you and they appreciate you. Don't forget to light a candle for them. So you got the Ten of Wands. So it's definitely time to lay the weight down when it comes to something. If you have the opportunity, right? I guess it just depends on how this is coming in and out. If this is, you know, weighing on you. Yeah, because look at even at the bottom of the deck, it's like, let something go, right? You have the Ten of Swords. So... There's a completion. I mean, something's definitely over, you know, but either something needs to be said. It really just depends. I'll clarify, okay? But this could be a lot of pressure regarding something, or this could just be, you know, heavy feelings regarding whatever it is that's getting the best of you. But it's a 10. It's done and over, so please stop trying to carry someone else's weight, you know, and if this is you, it's your own pain, you know, time to release it. And it makes sense because the full moon troops is all about releasing what needs to be released. So let it go. And then you have the ace of wands. So you got the Libra, you got justice at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the Libra. To me, this is is fresh energy, okay? That's that's a drastic shift over the weekend. Um, you might have to choose someone only because now out of two, some of you are just going to put the weight down or it's just going to happen. You're going to have a, an energy shift. Others of you There's going to be a choice. <clears throat> a new idea, something. There's, there's still something going down. Okay, there's still people in the background. It's not the two of you. It's not like, hey, I'm making love and I'm, I'm picturing us at the same time sitting in front of a fireplace. It doesn't, it don't roll like that, right? So... Just be careful. All right, so you have the Five of Pentacles. So somebody misses you or somebody can't stop thinking about you. Um, the King of Cups popped out too. The bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. Um, I did want to... Real quick, I did want to use the same deck so we can get the same type of energy. But within my read, um, I yesterday, for those who watched, I really didn't want to go by the depiction. I wanted, you know, I was like, oh, maybe I should have grabbed another deck. But I, I still continued with this deck. So I'm kind of reading into both um, what the cards mean and depiction and and you know, the regular tarot deck, um, which is nice because weight's going to be dropped, okay? Something is, is nice. Chances are 
you miss somebody in the other group, you know, it's that someone went crickets on you. You know, they they chose something else. Um, others of you... It's just, I'm not really sure. It's telling me in different ways, so hold on. This could be over the weekend, you know, this is a decision. Someone could possibly come in, want to hit you up, possible one night stand. Someone gets left out in the cold, like they turn someone down, which you could be turning down uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Really, it just depends. I, I haven't clarified yet, but there's a whole lot there. I do feel like you're definitely going to get a message. Some of you are definitely, you know, Cancerian um, with the chariot here and an Aquarian energy with the star. But there's, there's still someone in the background, whether it's a friend. It, it, someone has an opinion about something or something's still lingering. So as long as you're aware of that as well. Again, energy. Also, oh, yeah, please. And then you got the Knight of Pence, so that's definitely a messenger, but you need to be careful here because, well, the depiction on this card we can clearly see, right? He's trying to offer a lemon, but it's green, so it's not right. It's definitely not a line, okay? Um, this is something that's, you know, for some of you it's a slow process, for others of you it's it's an offer, but it's just... It's, it's right now it just means this is a slow process whatever you're going through it's just it's 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 a slower process than normal okay but i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about it you know what i mean jelly beans so let's clarify. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What's this weight we're adding? It could be pressure on someone. It, it could be weight. It's, it's an ending, though, of carrying that type of feeling. So I think it's more of an, a release. It could be an emotional release. It, it, any type of release, really. Yeah, temperance. Okay, so... It, it, it's healing you know it's it's definitely a release for healing and it's 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 not really speaking of balance right now it's this is a release okay so you might be telling somebody how you feel when it comes to sorrow or pain you know, whether it's a lover, a friend, a family member, however it rolls for you. You're just bent out of shape regarding something. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. But it's, it's healing, okay? So don't look at that in a negative way. It's just the reality of, of someone's scenario. Doesn't mean you're not going to have a good weekend, okay? So, and now you got two twos. So in all reality, that was a two. So two, two, two. The, there is a, a great need um, to balance something out here. You do have the tower at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who is going to want to have a conversation with you. They're going to want to talk to you. I don't know what you're going to choose. You know, if, if you want to talk, if you don't want to talk, however it's going to roll for you. Um it's obviously completely 
completely in, in your hands too on what direction you choose when it comes to this conversation because that like I said I, I knew there was gonna be a, some type of decision here so then you do have the two of swords and the two of wands two of swords is you know sometimes making a decision not wanting to having a blindfold on not wanting to see something yada yada and the two of wands talks about a brand new direction that's you know crossroads but these particular cards you know like this one in particular is having a conversation and when you guys do have a conversation you're so wrapped up in in each other because there's there's a lot of passion there's a lot of a lot a lot okay and it's it's like you could have a trillion people in the room you could you could be on stage in a concert and you wouldn't even hear the noise of anybody else is you guys have that type of connection okay it, it's about the two of you especially in those moments it really is the two of you no one's you know, no one's sidetracked, no one's doing that, what I talked about earlier, because I said that's kind of unrealistic, but I mean, it happens if, if someone's bored with somebody, right? And then this tour, so it speaks of somebody made the decision, and this is more or less a promise in this deck. I promise that won't happen again. I promise yada, 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 okay? So... It, it does look like you're going to either have a conversation with yourself, a friend, somebody. You're conversating with somebody this weekend, whether it's a lover. I'm trying to be as realistic as I can be with, you know, the cards um, I'm seeing on the deck. Okay? So, in this entire situation, this actually speaks of, of balance, unity, partnerships, you know, two, 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 that type of stuff um unity because this temperance isn't representing balance right now this it's representing healing nurturing yourself taking care of yourself release okay so could be an intimate weekend for some of you on many different levels it doesn't just have to be sexually and you're still able to release you know tell me about the five of pence oh my mind went to the gutter because you can release that way too right but this is this is different this is emotions to be honest with you i'm, I'm surprised i haven't seen the ace of swords pop in five of pence please let's put the five of pence and there's that ton of swords. All right, so pretty bent out of shape, but again, another another one. See, these aces are coming with tens. So it's almost like something can be resolved. Okay, that was at the bottom of the deck, though. So, you know, it's... it's it's, I don't know if you feel stabbed in the back, you know, you feel like someone stabbed you in the back, whatever this is regarding, okay? Definitely looks like there could have been exterior energy, like I said before, a lover, however, whomever, okay? Clearly there's people in the background, you know, someone still has hurt feelings about a situation. But just know that this is, this is a healing weekend, okay? And... There's opportunities coming your way. I I wouldn't look at this one as really an opportunity. I look at it more as an energy shift. A release. Okay. So tell me about the King of Cups, please. And you got the King of Chalices. I mean... That was the King of Chalices. You have the Ten of Cups. Look at all these tens, okay? A whole bunch of endings to have a new beginning, all right? So normally, <clears throat> this is basically saying, you know, take care of yourself, nurture you, especially with the Queen of Pens being at the bottom of the deck. Um, but this is happiness. This is something coming. This is also, you know, this person made you happy, vice versa. You know, so something obviously went down between you and someone.
if a conversation is had and in truth be spoken, okay, because it needs to come out because the Ten of Swords is here. But I don't, like I said, I don't see it, right? So it really just depends on how you present yourself or vice versa. Because it could really be a good weekend. You know, it is the Ten of Cups. And you do have the Queen of Pence, you know, under the deck, like I said. But the Emperor's also there, too. So, I don't know if it's multiple men, women, however it rolls for you. But it is, this energy shift is, you know, could this be a little bipolar, you know, poss no judgment at all. But could it be a little bit of bipolar energy? Possibly. A little bit. Um, somebody's hot, cold, on, off, you know. But I don't really see it that way. But for some of you, you know, it's clearly on the board. So for some of you, it's a possibility. Um, the hot, cold, on, off type thing. It really just depends on what you want to engage in this weekend. Okay, so. And like I said, um, something more or less, this card right now is just saying, it's just something's extremely... It's not that it's slow. Something here is just going to take time. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever situation this is, it's it's a process. It's not a bad process. It's, it's just, it's a process. That's all. Okay? So tell me about the, tell me about the Knight of Pens, please. things on the pop out but it didn't make it out and we have the magician so you are able to create something you know like um like basically you have every tool they have every tool um, something, when the magician's out, something's already been aligned, something's already been manifested, and now it's, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to progress? Okay. So, like I said, like, it's just a slow process, but the process is able, you can, it's an undertaking. It's what you choose. Okay. Um, We do have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So in this particular Eight of Cups is, you know, somebody who walked away from you or vice versa. Could have been a masculine who walked away from you, avoided you, went crickets, however it worked. Okay. They could have been occupying somebody else. I, I'm not quite sure. Not for everybody, but for some. But this Eight of Cups does talk about, you know, walking back into each other's arms. And then you do have a new opportunity. Okay, but it, it's going to be a tough one because it's kind of snaky, shady. Something went down. And then you got the hangman, so you need to change your perspective here with what went down, right? Because there is an opportunity, like I said. It's just a matter of how... It's just a matter of what you talk about, what you get through, what gets cleared up, what you, know, what you allow to talk about, release... You know, it's no one just heals overnight, but this is nice healing energy. It is a healing weekend. It is release. It makes complete sense, especially with the full moon. You know, different types of intimacy on all different types of levels, which is which is nice. So it's gonna be a deep weekend. Take your time. definitely an energy of being able to create something new lay the weight down from the past blank slate type energy which is nice let me just find out 
I, I just want to make sure if this is appropriate versus because you got to be careful here. Don't get pulled into this energy when this energy is more important. Like a sexual energy, you know, don't get pulled and in, wrapped into that when this is more important. If this gets hashed out first and, and this all goes down, then, you know, so be it. You find each other in each other's arms again and enjoying each other and no need to rush anything. But there's definitely some stuff, some deep shit to hash out. And it might not be deep on both ends. Maybe one person just feels more depth than the other, right? So, you know, Romeo is not on the horse. And, and neither is Juliet. You're both kind of, you know, riding turtles. They see me riding. Anywho. <coughs> um, two of Wands. Just briefly, what's this discussion about? What is this discussion about? Because if someone's got to make a promise and somebody betrayed somebody, if you got to make promises, I mean, chances are. You know, got the moon and it's unknown. And, and this is another card of a lot of depth. And the page of swords is at the bottom of the deck too. So it, it's clear communication, which is nice. You know, stuff still going on behind the scenes. There could have been some deception. You guys might talk about some deception or, or shady shit. You know, the, the moon can represent a lot, but this is also saying, you know, Scorpio moon. It's just time to possibly have this conversation. And it does, you know, with the Page of Swords being at the bottom of the deck, it does look like clear communication. But I think, you know, for the majority of you with the moon, it's it's going down with the moon. Might be going down with someone's cycle to a feminine cycle. Not necessarily, but some of you. Um, you know, right now I think it speaks more of the unknown because you guys don't have a clear direction. With whatever this is regarding. Okay, so... And it, it, like I said, it's the moon with the page of swords. So I'm going to give you your best advice, you you know, from spirit, not for the feminine or masculine, you know, spirit, best advice just regarding this weekend. Whether it's touch base with your guys, you know, or, you know, trust or I, I guess, you know, with this, we'll never know what we're going to get right now, especially with the... Scorpio moon, but looks about right, seems about right. <clears throat> Best advice for this weekend, please, regarding this situation. Just one card, please. Oops, something wanted to flip, but I got caught up. There needs to be, um, Big Happy Changes was just great. There needs to be a release. Um, some of you, it is, could be a little tension regarding pressure, but it's, it's, we'll just leave it at that. No need. Um, Big Happy Changes, which is fantastic. And at the bottom of the deck is take action. So, and then be assertive and, and reconsider, yada, yada, yada. But, Happy changes. See, there there is happy. So big happy changes obviously takes time, right? But you guys must know you share some type of connection because you have the ton of cups here, whether it's with a friend, a lover, family member, relative, however it rolls for you. It's, it's a turnaround type weekend. Looks like a positive weekend, okay? So, I love you guys. Um, <clears throat> I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. And again, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas, okay?
I love you guys so much. Bye.